I don't understand the theory or the fact that uh, what produces thunder, okay? That's the weather people are weird, man. I mean, uh, yeah, I could make a whole video about that. They say that uh, what makes thunder is uh, hot air and cold air clashing, right? You know what makes thunder? That's what they tell us makes thunder. I don't know if I believe that or not, man. You come in here on a real hot day, 90 degree day, say, and it says 90 degrees in your house, and you open your deep freeze up. Hot air and cold air clashes, and there ain't no thunder. All right, welcome back again, folks. It's good to see y'all. Appreciate you coming back. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to set this uh, Ibanez X EX series. I keep wanting to call it an XT or some crap. This is the contest guitar. Congratulations, Brian Cox. I'm pretty sure you said I could say your name. I can't. I'll edit this out, <laughs> but I'll check with you before I put this video up. Anyways, congratulations. You want a beautiful guitar, man, and we're going to put a house that never sleeps set up on it. I'm going to, uh, I got, he said he, I asked him about his action, what kind of action he wanted, and he said he was kind of heavy handed, so I'm going to set it 564 and 464. I said, what kind of strings do you use? And he told me these was what he used. Now, you probably can't see it for that sticker. They're Ernie Ball Hybrid, I think is what it is. Yeah, I can't see it. Hybrid Slinkies, 9 to 46s. That's what the pack looks like. And I didn't have any of these when he told me that's what he wanted. You know, I want my guitar winning uh, patrons to be happy. I want them to like the setup. I'm, you know, I went and bought these strings just for him because that's what he said he liked. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the strings off of this guitar first and polish it up real nice. It's kind of dirty. It's been in storage. I'm going to polish it up real nice for him. And uh, we'll check the truss rod and see if it works. And um, I know this truss rod has not been turned for a while, so I'm going to get on camera when I loosen it, uh, see if it's ceased in there or not. You can always hear them. Usually when they do it, you can hear them break loose. That's a reason, one of many. You shouldn't tighten your truss rod first, and you should never tighten it under string tension. I don't care what people say, don't do it unless you're prepared to put it in a new truss rod because you can snap the head right off. Anyways, I'm going to clean it up, take these old strings off, and I'll bring you right back, and we'll start setting this guitar up, put these new strings on it, check the electronics and everything, see what works and what don't. Hold on. Just for the record, uh... I don't know how much the new owner of this guitar pledges per month, but if, if I'm just uh, using this as an example, if he pledges one dollar a month, even if he's been a patron for twelve months, he's got twelve bucks in his guitar. I think he's been a patron longer than that, but to look and see to be sure but you know we're going to make a killer player guitar out of this and uh it's going to be it's going to be sweet man this guitar is going to be so sweet and if he's got uh you know like i say what it depends on what he he paid to be a patron a month if he play, pledges 12 bucks a month and he's been a patron for i mean one buck a month and he's been a patron for a year, then he's got 12 bucks in the guitar. You can't beat it, man. And I'm going to make him one awesome playing guitar out of this. Wow, somebody really cranked that on there. Anyways, I wanted to just throw that in. You guys, uh, we're going to start another contest. It might be started by the time you see this video. I don't know. But uh, if you want a chance at winning a guitar, he said come on over to Patreon. It would help me, and uh, it could help you too. See if the camera will get this. I'm just going to loosen this truss rod. No, it didn't do it. Man, every time I do it on video, it doesn't do it. Oh, that's sweet, man. Now, what we want to do is put a little bit of backward bow in the neck. That way we can loosen it under string tension. And, uh, Still don't have any backward bow. That truck club is pretty loose, actually. Now we got backward bow. 
under string tension, we know we can loosen that. So we're set. I'm gonna find cords and stuff, and we'll see if the electronics work. Got it hooked up to an amp now. Wow. Told you you'd been in storage a long time. Check that out. Get the clean nose. Even the switch is dirty. That's the bridge pickup. These shouldn't work. in that switch. Dirt. That's these two pickups. This one shouldn't work. That's the center pickup. These shouldn't work. that position turns them all on that should be uh, the middle and rear not this one that's not right okay there we go yeah something's changing in that switch when I'm tapping it it's enough vibration to change it rear and these two should not work I took it apart and sprayed the cleaner into it. Yeah, we got more problems than just that. That's a single coil. That humbucker's quieter. Alright, well, let me flop him over. I'll bring you back again. Uh, figure out, we'll figure out what, what's humming, what's going on in there. Uh, but first, Yeah, see, these two shouldn't be picking up like that. That must be for all three pickups in the center. See, that one shouldn't be picking up anything. Those sound better. There's a bad ground somewhere. The jack's loose. We'll check all that. So hold on. Let me gather my little collection of thoughts. I had to trace a bunch of wires. Had all this out. And let's go ahead and put that back in right now. The ground from the plug here back to the... Uh, the ground runs from this plug all the way up here to the volume pot and it was supposed to have been soldered to that volume pot it was it became broken off it wasn't soldered I soldered it back on I didn't figure you'd want to set through all that and waiting for the iron to get hot and so I went ahead and soldered it back on and I think that fixed it certainly should be better than it was anyways if nothing else it should be better than it was the socket, the uh, outlet jack was loose too. Tighten that up. <clears throat> All right, let's pop him over here. Back you off there just a wee bit. Put that puppy up and see what it says. We still got humness. Takes that amp just a few minutes to. Uh oh. Yeah. 
thought that would do it. Maybe the pickups are just noisy. Let's try. Try this again. That's the front. Why you end up having to rewire the whole thing? See, I don't think that that pickups. I don't think it's picking that up. I think it's just getting through the circuit of these two single coils. And I think that center setting is all three. I'm not sure about that. That seems to be the way it's working. See how much louder? Well, that's pretty loud on that one too. You would think that position would be these two pickups. The wet humbuckers are way quieter than those singles are. See, I shouldn't be picking up anything on that one. Right there, it shouldn't be picking up anything on this one. Alright, I'm going to have to get break down and get into the wiring on this thing, I guess. pickups that it shouldn't be. Somebody did an awful lot of wiring in there. I hope I don't have to rewire the entire thing. Let me look in there again. I'll bring you back. I'm just going to look in there again and see if I can spot a wrong wiring job. Hold on. Well, a good little bit later, I figured it out. There was an error in the soldering inside of there. Uh, that position should be the bridge pickup and not these. That's works right. I think that's these two and not this one. That's right. Now I'm not sure about that center. Now, that's okay, the center piece is that's well that's the way it should be. Okay. That's probably what I fixed. That center should just be the center pickup. And not all three of them. I don't guess you can turn all three of them on at the same time. <clears throat> I don't know. That should be these front two. Not this one. That's right. And I think that should be only the front one. If it's wired right. Yeah. Alright. Still got a little bit of a hum, but it's going to have with those single coils. Isn't that humbucker? this pickup up here it's a noisy pickup anyways that's fixed now we start setting it up Woo! all right let me uh let me put the back back on it or the panel i mean because that's a done deal i won't bore you guys with this i'll bring you back when we get ready to set it up hold on here while we was back here he talked about not even using this and even making a hard tail out of it if I could. It's about to break, I think. It's bent. It's like pot metal. I showed you in the earlier video. It's bent. Now I'm going to take at least these metal three springs off of it. And take that pressure away from the center of the thing. Now he's talking about not even using it at all. The whammy bar. So to make a hard tail out of that. I would need to put a block down here and a block back here. So I'm not sure how good that would be, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I just don't know if that would be a good idea to do that or not because it's bent. I might get the camera and show you a little bit. We, I don't think we're going to get into setting this guitar up tonight because I spent a lot of time tra tracing wires and finding that. Uh, one wire that was loose and then a, and a couple more that were in the wrong places and I need to think about this I'm gonna have to put a pull it back and put a little block or shim in there and then a heavier block you know that fits fairly tight down on this side of it and that way it won't move anymore 
But I got to think about that, and I got to find a spring for this. I just noticed the spring going from that one saddle. I've got some. I just need to find them. <laughs> wow. Didn't really figure on a bunch of things going wrong, man. But uh, hold on, let me gather my little collection of thoughts up again. I will, however. I got these switch caps. There's uh, cream, yellow, and black. And I think one of these black ones probably would look best with since the knobs are black. So let's just go ahead and stick that puppy on there. I don't know how this is going to fit, or if it will fit or not. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's perfect, man. That is perfect. Perfect! All right, there's one more step toward its journey home. Hold on. Frets are really tarnished on this guitar. They look pretty good, by the way. I see a little tiny dents in a few of them. But uh, they're not bad enough, really, to want a fret dressing yet. This second fret here is the worst one, as far as the dents go. But they are tarnished up pretty bad. So I figured I'd do this and linseed oil of the board. Is that fifth fret? Three, four, five, yeah. I probably won't show the linseeding part. But I'm going to show you what a difference this makes in your frets. I'm rubbing both sides of the fret as well as the top of it. Let me put linseed on here, man. Is this going to really bring this fretboard to life? Right, let me wipe all that off now. Wow, check that out. Yes, sir. Boogity-bop. Much better. Yeah, I was thinking we could just set the guitar up tonight, you know. See what it sounds like, but wow. I got into tracing wires in there. and Let's see, it had one ground wire off. And I think two wires soldered in the wrong place. Wrong places. So I seem to have found that problem and cured it. I'm going to get the camera and bring you over here and show you this. Hold on. See those little dents I'm talking about? Those are the worst ones right there. Guitar's been played right there a lot. Anyways, the rest of the frets are not that bad. I can see a little bit of wear on them. But compare them to these. Check these out, man. I haven't done these yet. Semi-chrome polish, folks. That stuff is, wow, masterful. You can see here what the frets look like. Get a good look at them there. They're yellow. I don't know if a camera will pick that up or not. And then when you get up here to these, you can really see a difference in those. Check that out. It even cleaned the board up, man. Look at the look at the fret board here and down here. Also going to put the linseed oil on the board. But I'm not going to video that. I've got plenty of videos about it. Well, I have no idea how long this video is. Uh, like I say, I got into tracing wires and uh, lost track of the time. So I don't know, man. I'm going to stop here. And the next time we'll come back, I've got to find a spring for that saddle. Uh, I think I have that rear cover. I wanted to show you this guitar, though. Oh, man, you talk about shiny. And look at these frets now. Wow, dude. I haven't even linseed the fretboard yet. Look how it cleaned up. I can clean the keys as good as I could. Check that out, man. It's just a beautiful guitar. Look at that. The back of it shined up nice. I'll try to find that cover. The guy's getting a really nice guitar. He's going to, he's going to get a really nice guitar for uh, whatever. I'm going to look and see uh, before the next video how long he's been a patron of mine. And I can tell you exactly how much he's got in his guitar. New set of strings of his choice and all. Now, well, we are running out of guitars, however, but uh, I've got a few left yet. And those pink nose guitars, I want to get to work on one of those, make one of those play. Have two of them. I should have enough parts and everything I need to, to get one of them to work right. 
so stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the Les Paul uh, rebuild I'm gonna, that's coming first I'm gonna do that that's next after this guitar or maybe during at the time I work on this one I don't know but it's coming really soon Eric's got one Eric C and he's already got his finished I think and I haven't even started on mine yet man <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'm uh, clogged up like I'm getting a cold again or something crap going on. Been running AC pretty hard on these hot days. And, uh, I always have trouble when we do that. Maybe that's what it is. Can't give you no cue ball fix. She's not here. But I will say, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers, see you.